Now, today we are going to discuss about double slider crank mechanism. It is also a four bar mechanism, and in this also a four link. Suppose, and you can also see first link connecting two slider, first slider, second slider, and short slotted pair. In this two sliding pair and two turning pair. Now. Sliding first sliding pair, another sliding pair. First turning pair, second turning pair. In this case, four link. Now, in case of double slider crank mechanism, number of inversion is less than number of link because in any case, single slider crank mechanism, double double slider crank mechanism, four bar mechanism. Number of inversion is less than or equal to number of link. Now, in this case, by fixing any one of the slider, we fix the same resultant motion. Then, so that the two motion is we we calculate one motion. So that number of inversion in this case is three, but number of link in this case is four. Now, to understand double slider crank mechanism. Let me take some example. Slotted plate is fixed. Suppose if we fix the slotted plate, then the slotted plate cannot move. Suppose this is slider one and this is slider A, slider B. Now, because slotted plate is fixed, now I draw this here, then. This will point A and this will be B. Now, if I take any point in this link, suppose I take point B. Now, this distance will be Y and this will be X. Now, this angle will be theta and this is also theta. Now, if I want to draw how and what equation we get, then I calculate. Sin theta is equal to y upon b p, and cos theta is equal to x upon a p ka square. Now, if I square both the equation, then I get Now you can see this is equation of ellipse. So that if we fix slotted plate, we get elliptical tremor. Now, other than midpoint, if you fix any one of the point, then you will get ellipse. You can draw thousand of ellipse by this mechanism, and this is used for draw the ellipse. Now. In second case, if we fix any one of the slider, suppose I fix this slider. Now this cannot move. Plate can move, and other slider can move. Now, if this slider will rotate, then this is turning pair. Then this plate goes forward direction, something like this. This will goes this. Now the slider is this. Now. The plate comes like this. Now you can see this slotted part is moving. Now by this mechanism we get Scott-Yoke mechanism. By this mechanism, or by sliding and by fixing any one of the slider, we get this kind of movement. Suppose this is my slider one. In practical example, or in practical cases, if link of any types, this is link. It is not matter. 
but basic mechanism is this suppose this is my first slider so this is second link this is another slider third and this is my fourth link now this is used to automatic hexa machine in practical cases now if we fix slider then we get scojo mechanism now we discuss third case now connecting link if we fix connecting link connecting the both connecting both the slider now this is both the slider and this is link if i fix this link then the slider cannot move from their place but the plane can move and slider can rotate at the same place suppose if this slider rotate this transmit the motion the plate and this plate transmit the motion another another slider now suppose if this slider will rotate like this this slider will rotate like this now trans motion can transfer so this mechanism is used for connecting soft bridge head lateral misalignment now this mechanism is called oldham coupling now this is mechanism coupling now you can see by this mechanism we get scotch yoke by this mechanism we get oldham coupling now in this case we get electrical tremble which is used to draw the electrical tremble now one more thing in this case is that this is called ap suppose this is electrical tremble now if i say this is semi major axis this is semi minor axis attention please i said semi minor axis and semi major axis now this is ap and this is bp in competitive exam they generally ask what is the length of the major axis major axis minor axis because this is semi so you at a time of calculation you multiply by 2 so do so that you get length or length of semi major axis to full length so this is about double slider crank mechanism thank you